We present DIGS, Divergence Guided Shape Implicit Neural Representation for Aron Oriented Point Clouds for the task of surface reconstruction and shape space learning. In this paper, we introduce a novel loss function to control the divergence of the implicit neural representation and a geometric initialization tailored specifically for implicit neural representations that use sinusoidal activations. Given an input unoriented point cloud, our goal is to find the surface on which these points were sampled on. One way of representing this surface is the implicit representation. This means that the surface is the zero level set of some unknown function. In recent years, a popular choice for this function is a neural network that learns either an indicator function or a sign distance function. Most recent work share a similar architecture which feeds individual point coordinates into an MLP to predict its sign distance function. When training with a set of points, the output will look like this when evaluated over all points. Here, the color represents different distance values at grid positions and the arrows the gradient direction. Most shaped neural implicit representations differ from each other in their choice of initialization and loss function as well as activation function. In this work, we focus on the recently proposed SIRENS sinusoidal activation function networks. We show that with a different choice of initialization and loss function, performance can be improved even when normal vectors are not available. So how can we train a SIREN without normal vectors? The original SIREN loss function includes a zero level set term pushing points on the surface to have zero value, an inter term which penalizes points close to the surface for getting low values, an iconal term pushing the gradients everywhere to have unit length, and a normal term which pushes the gradient direction to map the normal direction for points on the surface. We propose to replace the normal term with a Laplacian term which pushes the divergence of the gradient vector field to be low off the surface and does not require ground truth normals to train. If we look at the 2D circle example, we can see that the divergence is indeed low everywhere except the circle center, which is a sink point. Therefore, adding a term that will push the divergence to be low is beneficial. This leaves the question of how to properly initialize the network. The initialization proposed by Sitzman et al. makes the input of each sign activation be Gauss normal distributed, and the output of each sign activation be arc sign distributed. However, for closed shapes and shape space learning, we witnessed that this sometimes results in ghost geometries, especially without normal vector supervision. Previous works show that initializing to a sphere provides many benefits in the context of ReLU and SoftPlus activation-based networks. Here, we propose geometric initialization for sirens by carefully choosing the weights and biases for the first and last layers. While there are benefits for this smooth initialization, for sign activations, we need high frequencies to capture the fine detail. Therefore, we propose the multi-frequency geometric initialization, MFGI, to insert the high frequencies back. For full detail on parameter initialization, please refer to the paper. Here we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the SDFs of the three different initializations in 2D. Here we show how both the initialization and the divergence loss influence the training process on the 2D L-shape. The final SDF shows that while both were able to recover a satisfactory zero level set, our approach provides a higher fidelity SDF without ghost geometries. This sequence captures the reconstructed shape at different training iterations for the proposed approach on the left and for siren without normal supervision on the right. Here, colors represent distance to the ground truth surface. It shows coarse shape obtained at the end of the height divergence phase, and then as training progresses, it becomes tighter and tighter. In comparison, siren without normal supervision gets stuck with persistent ghost geometry. We evaluate the performance of our approach on the SRB dataset for the task of surface reconstruction and show that without normal vectors for supervision, DIGS outperforms other methods that do not use normals for supervision using the chamfer distance and Hausdorff distance evaluation measures. We also evaluate the performance of our approach on a subset of the ShapeNet dataset and show that without normal vectors for supervision, DIGS outperforms other methods. For same reconstruction, we can see a significant reduction in ghost geometry. Here we can see the training progress on a single shape's reconstruction without normals. This is even more evident when looking at a full action sequence. Here, only pink frames are in the training set. IGL shows more detail, but also many ghost geometries and disappearing hands. DIGS is over smooth, but with much less ghost geometries and structural errors. Thank you for watching. For further detail, please refer to the paper. Code is available on GitHub.